Welcome back guys, so today this video I'm not really going to be analyzing this game, this is just going to kind of be gameplay footage in the background of what I've been uh, working with recently. I've been actually playing a lot of Hell Ember. I'm really enjoying the things you can do with him. People might think, oh he he's very weird to use, his early game's really bad, but if you can get past his early game, you can basically scuff so many people. Also in the very start of this game I lagged super bad, um, but the rest of it should go smooth. So there's a lot of little things you'll see me do in this. Also this is more of like, I want to hear what you guys have to say about this idea, about um, the idea of keeping the positions on of the survivors during Hell Ember games because the puppets in the replays don't actually show you the locations of where people are like Peepers do does. So I'm thinking of maybe keeping it on in case like I throw a puppet at someone so you know maybe what I'm trying to go for. Because it's a little bit hard to tell if you don't have the same information as what, you know, the replay doesn't show. So it's up to you guys. If you guys don't want re uh, posi positions on, I won't put them on, but for this game I'm going to do it and see how you guys like it. I would only do it with Hellumber because it makes sense. I don't do it with Ripper because it doesn't do stuff like that. So yeah, I'll talk about the game a bit, might as well. So my idea is to move this puppet to the cipher. So if, if someone's on it, then I can go to it later. And I know Merc's right here. So I just force the save because I can't get a flame in time. It doesn't matter. So this is just, this is also a game to preview what I've been doing with him. Um, these survivors aren't like top tier or anything. It's just like this is what I've been practicing with, like to learn how to play Hellumber. So then now I'm just starting to go back to dancer. Um, the build I've been using for now is just simple hunt with left down and then berserker. And now here I know mercenary can't get up so I just went to walk toward the person that's closest to me. So no matter what I saw both of them. So dancer dies. And I saw Merc get up right away, so then I went straight back to him. And then I started walking my uh, yellow puppet away because I'm not going back to that chair, so it was good to put a flame on it and make it move somewhere else that's more useful or run into someone in the future. Also, the puppets can destroy pallets and such um, when they're walking around. So the prospector here didn't know that he could just tap it and then it wouldn't chase him. But like I said, it'd be like that. So since I knew he wasn't going to tap it, if he walked backwards, he would get hit. So all I had to do is just make sure and if he vaults to the window here he would have gotten hit so I just walk the other way and he can't do anything now this is one way that you can triple hit with hell Ember. there's two ways you can triple well you can technically, if you really wanted to power camp, you can do four hits simultaneously, like in good succession. Most of the time I just go for the triple hits because that's all you need. But eventually if it really comes down to it, I might practice that. So here I flame my yellow puppet, and then I put out my flame first, then throw the yellow puppet. But I have to wait until he gets closer, like right here. And then I throw it. So then I can just swain like that, and then swain, swain, down.
You can also do the red uh, puppet teleport hit on chair, but uh, you'll see I tried doing it here, and I do mess up. Because I uh, was standing too close to the chair, I think. Or I just threw it over the wall. Yeah, I think I threw it over the wall. So the, the flame hit the person there. Yeah, and then from here on out, it's just me finding the bar made. I have a lot more games that I've recorded, but uh, since my brother has had a lot of people over, it's been really hard to record, and I can't just record it because there's a lot of noise in the background, but since he's gone right now, it's the best time to do it. Um, from here on, yeah, it's just going to be me finding her, but I'm really excited to start playing him in high tiers and see what I can do with them because uh, Ale Alex has been uh, helping me out with Hellenbird. So I went into customs and did some timings with him. He showed me some things that I can do with him. Um, but yeah, like another thing is if you teleport to a puppet and someone's on chair, it points you to the closest survivor, which will, which will happen with her. It's just, I wanted to see if I could do it without like teleporting to see if I could find her. But then I just gave up. I was like, nah, <laughs> which way is she? And then I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's basically the match. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of me playing Hellenberg if you guys are excited. Because I'm going to be switching it up a bit instead of just only Ripper matches. And stay safe.